Students at Brown University are starting in-person classes in less than two weeks, despite COVID cases spiking across the state. Today, Brown's president, Christina Paxton, was in studio for this week's Newsmakers and discussed why returning for in-person classes is the right decision for the university. 12 News reporter Tali Taylor joins us now with the details that are new at 530. Paxton emphasized community safety when explaining why bringing students back for in-person learning is the right call. And she said unless community safety is threatened again, there's no need to return to remote learning. Brown University students will be back for in-person classes starting January 26th. University President Christina Paxson says all students, faculty and staff are required to be vaccinated and boosted unless they have a valid exemption. What we're hearing from our public health experts is that with Omicron, people who are fully boosted and vaccinated are at far less risk of severe disease. Before returning to campus, students have to produce a negative rapid test. And once they return, Students will have to take a rapid antigen test each of their first two days back and will be required to test twice a week this semester while wearing masks in indoor spaces. They're all vaccinated, they're all boosted, and they're all wearing masks. And we think it's safe. Paxson acknowledges she's heard from some that want the school to go remote. But she says experts tell her the community isn't threatened by having in-person classes. One of the most important things is there is absolutely no evidence of transmission in classrooms. Paxson says the university will be giving every student KN95 masks and will provide all tests. And she says Brown has enough right now to get through the beginning of the semester. I'm Tolly Taylor, 12 News.